Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to another episode. I just got back from another amazing trip to the Eastern Sierras. So I realized that lately with all these off-road comparison videos and my Honda Passport driving through a rock garden, maybe a lot of you don't realize that a lot of the trips I go on are to just get out, adventure, and live my best life. I don't exactly go on trips to go off-roading. My vehicle is actually set up for overlanding, not off-roading. My goal is to get out, explore, adventure, experience. And sometimes this rig of mine makes an excellent car camper. And so I'm able to use my vehicle to live out of for a couple days or three days. And uh, I could avoid having to pay a hotel stay. My Honda Passport is my daily driver. It's always ready for adventure. And in this video, I'm going to show you how a vehicle like this could open up a whole new world to you. Hey everybody. So I had to meet with a client that was just north of Burbank, which is pretty far from me. Like it's a good 40 mile drive up north. Well, since I'm driving up that far, I might as well just grab my snowboard and uh, hit a mammoth. Staying at a motel, you just don't get those kind of views. Oh, so if someone's already there. I could see someone already camping in that spot. So, you know what, I'll just, I guess I'll just take this spot right here, up on top. The only bad thing about parking this way is that if the wind picks up, I know the wind's coming from the west. So if the wind picks up and we have gale force winds, I'm gonna be screwed.
That is what I'm looking at. So I think I'm going to take the pegs off and then I think I could roll up this, uh, I guess, awning, if you want to call it that. tell you this is definitely living this is such an awesome life i'm camping here for free and um there's just not too many hotels that could offer that view of course i don't have access to a warm shower it might get cold tonight oh geez i forgot my tarp so i think it'll be okay though i think uh so not by might be in the 40s. I could be wrong. Let me check right now. The weather report will be right here. All right, 7:41, and I plan on waking up probably around six or seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow. I can't imagine. All right, it's morning time. Slept good. looking actually great you look over here that is gonna be a good day that will be a really good day well I'm gonna drive over to Bean Lodge just because uh, they have a bigger facility Only bad thing now is uh, my car is going to smell like corned beef. <laughs> so this is just a half a can because I don't need to get too full. I plan on riding so I'm just taking a break right now. Drink of choice will be cut water. Now this stuff is not like a seltzer. 12.5% alcohol.
The dog's gonna be in it though. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> For lunch, I went to the supermarket and got myself a salad because I'm trying to eat a little healthier. <laughs> and you know what? Um, now I, I typically don't eat something super fancy. Like I said, I'm I'm just trying to show you guys a genuine. Um, I'm just trying to be myself, and uh, I'm not trying to do anything out of the ordinary. This is typically what I would do. I would either get some fast food. Or in this case, I bought a you know, salad. So that's what this life's about. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Another change in plans, so that's kind of weird There's like this light beam shining through, what the heck's that? Uh, so it turns out it's not snowing down here but it's snowing just 10 miles away. Now we say, I need a break. Time to stay strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Visibility is pretty darn bad. Game face on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high, do I see me stack? No, it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up. This ain't get tough. Calluses on my hands so rough. Yeah, I call your bluff. I'm not the one. Mess with me, come out with none. Cause I'm so done, you had your fun. And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun. Cause I got a full clip with your name on it. But I'm gonna let you slide cause you ain't worth it. On my channel, I've said many times that uh, if you primarily want to off-road, a Honda Passport isn't going to be the best choice. But if you want a balanced daily driver, on-road handling with a mix of off-road, yeah, the Honda Passport makes an excellent choice. And um, I think it's uh, I think it's one of the few all-wheel drives that could uh, you know handle some pretty decent like level four four-wheel drive trails but this damn ford expedition just blocked my view i was gonna well i kind of zoomed in already but that right there is end goals that <laughs> the sprinter uh the Ravel. that's 
if I had the money and if I had a, a daily driver, then uh, I would pick up one of those. Actually, I, I love the Honda Passport as a daily driver. So I would probably daily drive this, reconnect the rear sway bar. And um, for adventures, I'd probably have the, I if I could afford it, I'd take that Revell. But you'll notice that I'm not interested in purchasing a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon on 40s.